Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Andrew and Cole. In this video, we're going to show you the Google Chromecast. Now this will turn your display or monitor or any, any TV into a smart TV where you can install Netflix, YouTube, and even the Play Store to play some games. Now, if you're interested, please watch until the end of the video and we're going to unbox this one and show you the interface and what it looks like inside. All right, so the box, as you can see, it can play YouTube. Netflix, Prime Video, Spotify, Disney Plus, Hulu, all the different streaming apps. Okay, at the back is this one. Simply set, simple setup, plug and connect in stream. On the side, yes. So you can use this device for, it has a voice remote. Okay, you can say play ESPN and the Google Chromecast will be able to follow you along. Okay and here so you can put your google tv as an entertainment center where everything is connected to the internet now you can have plenty of content okay on the internet all right let's take let's take a look at what's inside and let's open it this the inside you have batteries you have a usb-c to usb-a cable and you have a so USB charger okay. and you have an instruction manual and let's open up the remote okay this is the remote the black one this one is for the voice command okay so you have you have a touch sensitive sensors here okay for your directional buttons okay and up and down and enter okay so you have the volume the home Okay, you can press YouTube and even Netflix. Okay, you can even power power up, power down your TV if you if you want to. And of course, this one is what is this? Oh, I think it's change input. Okay, and this this is the back button. Let's look at the Chromecast itself. Now you may have an old TV that you are planning to upgrade, but you don't have the budget yet. This one only costs. 3,000 pesos. Okay, I'll put all the links in the description down below. It has an HDMI at the other end. Okay, so you plug this in your monitor or your TV, and this one will connect to the internet. Okay, when you connect to the internet, okay, then you can access a wide variety of content. Okay, this side also has a USB-C. So USB-C has a, uh, allows you to, to plug in additional uh, you know, uh, storage drive. If you want to, you can read from that one, and of course, you can use this to chart or to, to power up your your Google Chromecast. Okay, so that's the basic physical showcase. Now we're going to look at the the interface, and I'll plug it in my my capture card and let's see what's inside. And we're back. This is the interface of the Google Chromecast when you first put it up. You have the welcome screen asking you for to set it up for the first time. I already have my remote control set up here. The batteries are in and let me just take you step by step on how to set up the Google Chromecast with you. Okay, so you first you choose the language. Of course, it's English. Now, you, if you have a Google Home app in your phone, you can actually just set up using the Google Home app. It, it will be easier, but for the benefit of you viewers, we're gonna set it up in the TV instead. It might take longer, okay? So we choose which Wi-Fi to connect to. So let's say, let's try this one, okay? Okay, so we're connected to the internet, as you can see. This is the initial setup, okay? So it's now downloading system updates, okay? We might do this, we can wait for it and it will restart on its own. Now my parents have an old TV that is still uh, not connected to the internet and my brother bought this Chromecast for my mom so that she'd be able to watch YouTube on her old TV. Actually, Google has released many different uh, Chromecasts already. I think this, this is the latest one. Okay, so now it's restarting. It's installing system updates. Okay, so the Chromecast is restarting after the update. There you go. You'll be asked to 
sign in with your Google Google account. Okay, and they're asking for my password. Okay, after you sign in, it will be asked. Your, they will be asking you for two-factor authentication. So temporarily, I accept. I, I I set it up in my email. So accept. Okay, just accept everything. Mm, so you can see all of, the, all of these things with the Google Assistant. Okay, so you have YouTube, Netflix, you can choose your subscription. Or maybe we just don't do any, any subscription just yet. It's installing apps, control volume and power with your Google Remote TV. Okay. So what brand of your TV? Um, no, I'm gonna. Can we just skip this? There's no skip. Not now. Okay, not now. And now it's done. After all the installation, it's done. So we'll try to explore what's inside. So you have this is the interface search, home, apps, library. Okay, so currently I have a, a purchased movie. Let's try it out. Okay. So, yeah, so far it's working. Okay, so let's go back to the, uh, you can do YouTube, YouTube Music, Prime Video, Apple TV, Netflix. Okay, so you have to set it up, okay. So this is the the different things that you can see. Okay. So let's try playing a YouTube video. Okay, choose an account. I'll mute the video, okay, obviously. Okay, so oh you yeah, have commercials already. <laughs> So I do Hearthstone. This is this this is my YouTube account. This is what I usually watch. Okay, basically you have a interface for, and you can use the Google Alexa. Say, you can press this black button, this one. Open YouTube. Okay, so it will open it for you. Okay, so let's see. Let's try to search something. Search the best movies of 2021. Okay, so these are the movies of 2021. Okay, so you can choose the movies that you like. Okay, the voice assistants, it's very handy and helpful. Okay, and you can also look at your apps. Okay, so you can install different apps like this one. Okay, so you can even install Kodi. You can install Plex. I have a Plex server, so you can use this one if you have a Plex server. You have Crunchyroll. These are the different available streaming softwares, streaming apps. Okay, Spotify, ESPN, okay, movies, okay. So in your library, so far it's just this one. And home, okay. So we, let's see, let's try Apple TV. We don't have a subscription with Apple TV, but it has a built-in app in Apple TV. So it's maybe we, we can play some trailers or whatnot. Okay. Oh. okay, so we don't have this one. Now, if you have a VPN, you're living in the Philippines and you have a VPN, you can actually have Disney Plus here. But since I do not have a VPN, so we cannot uh, use that. Okay, and we only have Netflix here. Okay. Okay. So, so I think this is sign in. Okay. So I forgot the password already. So this is my brother's account. Okay. You can have set. You can look at the settings. These are the settings. You can change your internet connection, your account. Okay. You can even add your kid's account. Add other accounts. Okay, so maybe if within your family you have some some children you like to uh, allow to to watch. Okay, 
Okay, so you have all of these. Okay, content preferences, payment, apps only mode. Okay. So, okay, privacy, uh, display and sound. Okay, so our resolution is 1080 by 60. Okay, so if you have a 4K TV, you can choose 4K TV. So we're not gonna do that right now. So far 1080, since we're recording. You can also do HDR for this one. So, so our, our capture card or our TV is not HDR, so yes, SDR. Okay, color format, you can choose. This is a little bit technical already. But basically, uh, the, the setups are all here, okay? So what else? System. Okay, so about, this is running Android TV OS version 10. Okay, updated up to April 2021 as of the recording of this video. Okay, so you can choose system update, but we already updated, so no need for that. Okay, you have all of these ambient mode okay so you can actually cast your youtube videos or any other streaming software that has uh, supports google casting okay so you can also cast meaning from your cell phone your mobile your tablet you can open your tv and you can project the screen on your on your on your uh, phone no? to the tv to the big screen watching things on the big screen is always better Okay, storage. This one has an internal storage uh, of what eight gigabytes. Okay, so not not much here. Now you can actually add storage to this one. How? By actually using a USB C uh, a, a hub. Okay, if you have a USB C hub similar to a a a, a, a dock. Okay, so you can in, in, insert the USB dock in the Google Chromecast, then you can insert a USB storage drive and the Google Chrome Chromecast will be able to read it and you can watch your files from there. Okay, you can also pair remote. Okay, I don't know if you can pair a, a controller, a gamepad. Okay, so I'm not so sure, okay. Remote update, new software available, so maybe later. Okay, you can even rename your, your Chromecast into whichever area. Okay, so let's, for now, let's just name it Chromecast. Okay, so thank you very much for watching my simple unboxing video and short overview of the interface of the Google Chromecast. I hope you learned something today. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. I'll put all the links down below. So if you want to buy this one, please use those links. It will not cost you anything. It will just support my channel better. Okay, thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.